helps if you turn the microphone on. Hello and welcome to Battle for Slough. Thank you everybody for joining me again two days in a row. Brilliant. We had a great time yesterday with uh, Drew's book launch, audio book launch, which um, oh, was a good trip for me. I made quite a lot of money. I loaded up with rares before we headed off to the prism system. Learned a load from Drew about astronomy and, you know, all of the rest of the huge brain things that he has in his head. And um, ended up in prism system and made a absolute ton on my rares. Um, and then somebody had dumped a whole load of gold out in front. I can't remember who that was, unfortunately. Um, but thank you, whoever that was. <laughs> I spent the next half an hour scooping up gold, as I believe did several others. Um, but thank you for joining me again today. I've been having a bit of a look over here. Um, all the familiar faces are here. We've got Fiery Toad modding. Dan the Publisher bloke has modded as well. I'm sure our other mods will turn up at some point or another. So be nice to the people with the red spears beside them. Otherwise, red spears? With the green spears beside them. Otherwise, they will poke you with them, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, yeah. The battle for Slough continues. And for those of you who aren't aware what we're doing, we are fighting to keep Slough, Vespa M4, an independent uh, system. And to do that, we are doing faction quests for the controlling faction in Slough Orbital, which is the Vespa Transport uh, Corporation. So thank you for those of you who've been helping that. We'll have a look and see where we're at. I actually haven't had a look. I spent most of today um, preparing for tonight and um, also... Um, making my way back from the prison system which was rather a long way away as it turns out um so now the other thing that i've done thank you fiery toad for this little piece of information i'm going to turn it on hopefully this will allow me to be a bit more involved in the chat Ta -da! so i have a little java chat window and your chat is on screen for you at home um, so the people watching later will be able to see what you're chatting about as well so please keep it nice and clean <laughs> this is a family show um, and then I've also got uh, that on top of my uh, screen on um, uh, in game as well so I should be able to sort of glance over and see chat I hope that works I hope it doesn't obscure my vision and end up um, getting me blown up or anything like that so Let's jump straight into the game, shall we? Um, and have a look at what it is we're going to be doing. Um, so, um, well, first of all, we should introduce ourselves to the ship's, ship's computer. Hello, Doris, I'm back. I am supposed to be happy about that. Well, you could Your try. Is overwhelming. <laughs> you could try to be happy, yes, Doris. Uh, we have guests. We have guests. Guests? You mean the untidy rabble that have been gathering outside Slough Orbital are with you? Well, yes, they are. They're watching us on Twitch. Oh, I thought they were beggars hoping for free food. I just ordered a thousand tons of fish to be dug up on them. I mean, for them. <laughs> be nice now, Doris. Nice? What a pointless human countenance. I would rather be efficient. Well, okay, um, could you try maybe, could you efficiently prepare the ship? You make it sound like I have a choice. Well, you don't. Wonderful. I live to serve, Commander Rose. Really, I do. Good. So Doris is on form and eager to fly with us tonight. I know she sounds a little um, reluctant, but deep down inside, she's very happy to be with you. Very happy indeed. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see what we're doing today, shall we? Um, so basically, we are uh, on faction missions, and let's see how. Because I know a couple of people uh, messaged me in the uh, forums and on Twitter saying, "Who are we doing faction for?" So this is the deal in um, in the right-hand panel. This is the deal in Slough at the moment, or in, in Vesper M4. Um, is we have. Uh, the jet transport. Can you see that underneath the chat? It's only just, only just visible underneath the chat. I might need to uh, no, actually. Can I do that now? No, because I'll mess it up on screen. But anyway, you can see there, sixty-nine percent, um, and that's on the up. Uh, and the um, the revolutionary Vespa M4 Liberals. 
they're the federals they're trying to make it into a federal state um so they are still doing quite well so we might have to start thinking about doing um some um some anti-revolutionary vespa m4 rebel missions as well um but one of the things i want to cover today because a few people have said to me um one of the things i would like to do today is uh <laughs> smarty 901 oh my god it's doris um, one of the things I want to do today is go over basic combat because uh, I was having a discussion with a couple of people um, in the forum um, and um, you know I've I've developed my own um, concept and I know that I'm not you know necessarily you know a genius yet at all of this um, but I've got my own little sort of thing that works and then um, there's a lot more people in the chat room at the moment who really know what they're talking about so um, they will be able to put me right if I'm wrong. So we're looking at basic sort of starter level combat in a Cobra. And I'm going to nip into um, Starport Services and I'll show you what my ship, um, how my ship is fitted in the outfitting section, just so that you can tell. Now, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to weaponry, um, there are a couple of things. First of all, um, I think a couple of... Uh, for me gimbaled at the moment because my flight i'm still not quite good enough uh, on flight to um you know to be able to aim without a gimbal with a fixed uh, mounting but if you go for gimbaled multi -cannon cannons and you put them on the top mounting because then what happens as they fly because you need them to be close to you for these uh, guns to be the most effective so what i do is when they're in the distance I get them with my lasers and my lasers are on the bottom so you sort of line up and you've got a reasonably good sort of line of sight and as they come towards you have them fly over your head and when they get over your head anything that's mounted on the bottom of the ship is not going to be able to fire at them because obviously your ship is in the way um, so then you switch obviously to the multi cannons which I've got on um, fire button number two and as they go over the top of me um, and they're close range, I can um, hit my multi-cannons and blast some um, uh, some projectiles into them. Um, now, I've got beam lasers. They are quite expensive, uh, but you can go for, um, you know, the burst lasers um, when you're sort of just starting out. So this is what I've got for beginner level. Now, in terms of defences, I don't think that there is really any point in the point defence. We go in here and see uh, what... Uh, what that's about so basically do we even have i don't think no we don't sell it here but um so you can get a point defense now that's a mounted turret which is an automatic weapon that shoots down missiles now if you're just going to be attacking npcs at kind of like a beginner um entry level kind of combat then they don't get behind you um and fire off missiles at you so really that point defense isn't any good so i've gone for a chaff launcher which basically just scrambles their guns you know if they're if they're sort of like firing at me then i can launch some chaff and it sort of breaks their um uh, their targeting on me especially if they're using gimbaled weapons um, and then i've got the kill warrant scanner because a kill warrant scanner allows you to pick up bounties um even when uh, uh people aren't wanted in the system that you're in so when you when you just look at them target them and look at them um, it will show if they're wanted in that system you don't need a scanner for that and then you can go ahead and kill them but if you also scan them with a kill warrant scanner if there's if they're wanted in any systems externally then you also can get that bounty as well so what i think we're going to do today is we're going to head over to a um uh, to a point that we can do some combat um, and we're just going to do some basic combat and see how we feel about that when we're done and I, I want some comments from you about this and how you feel about this. Um, I have a, an idea for a game. So here's my di idea for a game. The Sidewinder Gumball Rally. Sounds good, doesn't it? So the Sidewinder Gumball Rally, what that's about is... When we finish sort of doing our serious bit, we're going to come back here. The last hour, we'll have a little bit of fun. So we'll come back to Slough, come back to Slough Orbital, uh, we'll nip into the shipyard, all of us, and pick up a Sidewinder. Pick, just store your ship, I mean I've got my uh, Lacon transporter, my bus for doing um, uh, cargo runs to build up some cash in there. So buy a Sidewinder, 
store your current ship and your Sidewinder that you buy, no upgrades allowed, nothing allowed, just a basic bog standard Sidewinder. It's 32,000 credits and then the insurance on it will be the lowest possible because you are going to need your insurance. Um, because the idea for a gumball rally is basically we will then go to just outside the no-fly zone. Anyone who wants to, anyone who doesn't want to stay inside the no-fire zone in, in Slough. Um, but anyone who wants to take part will jump just outside the no-fly zone and we will basically ram each other until the last man is standing. No weapons, no guns, no nothing. The only thing you're allowed to do is you're allowed to change the pips in your shields and your engines. That's the only thing you're allowed to do. And I, I'm guessing that if no one fires any weapons, then no one will be wanted. There'll be no fines to uh, pay. Um, but we'll just sort of like, it'll be a bit like conkers, like spaceship conkers. Um, so I don't know how you feel about that. I'm just going to have a look down here at the chat for a bit and see, um, see how you feel about that. And see, uh, Dan, the publisher bloke, says, that sounds awesome. Um, yes. Um, oh, Play P says, who keeps killing my Wi-Fi connection? Well, I hope it's not uh, anyone in a Sidewinder, that's for sure. Um, so, Kate, click, I need a better uh, power plant. Now, that that's from XLG47. Um, so we'll, we'll come back to that. That'll be at the end of, uh, end of today um, and see if you're up for a little bit of stupidity in a Sidewinder. Um, when it comes to my outfitting, um, it's... Uh, oh. Palm trees. Potty Man says, palm trees have been located. Okay, we'll get to that as well at some point um, soon. Maybe not today. Um, now, PowerPoint, uh, power plant, I've actually got an A4. I've got an A4 power reactor, but the thing is I've got a lot of other stuff on here. So what I've been doing is I've been turning on and off. Um, my, um, basically, I can, if we go over here, in my modules, um, I can... Uh, if I turn everything on, then I, I've got too much, I'm using too much power. You can see my power usage goes to 101%. So I turn off my cargo hatch, and it's doable. And then when I want to use my cargo, when I want to scoop some cargo, cargo, I turn off my fuel scoop and turn on my cargo hatch. So that's what I've been doing, is I've just been, because um, you never really, you don't use those two things side by side. Um, so that is how I have been managing my power consumption at the moment. Uh, I feel like my little Cobra, I'm outgrowing it a little bit because I've got some really nice um, gear now. And um, the unfortunately, I'm running out, of, um, running out of spots to actually upgrade that gear. So I don't know if anyone's got... Oh, Dan the publisher bloke says, I saw palm trees in Seoul, I think. Not everyone can get to Seoul, though. You need a, um, a, a um, Sidewinder Demolition Derby, Aerodin is saying. Edro, Edorin is saying. Yes, exactly. Sidewinder Demolition Derby. Uh, so it'll be last man standing, and we'll see um, if we can have some fun exploding each other by ramming each other. I think that'll be fun. I think that'll be fun. Um, Fiery Toad says you can set the priority to to higher number of of modules to higher numbers. Um, yeah, I don't know how that will help me though. Will it help me if I set the priority? So if I make see our fuel scoop can be priority two. What don't I need? When I'm, um, I suppose when I'm fighting, I don't need my basic discovery scanner, do I? Oh, I can't, I can't change the, change the number on that. So I've got my fuel scoopers too. My cargo hatch. I can't change that one either. Strange. Um... Priority one gets power first, priority two power second, etc. So I don't know what I would, um, don't know what I would sort of like deprioritize out of these. If I'm fighting, I can't seem to change anything on my cargo bay or my discovery scanner. The reason I've got a discovery scanner, oh look at that. And go down to three on my thrusters. The reason I picked up a, a discovery scanner is that you can't, they've changed it now since the last update or two updates ago. You can't um, uh, change, um, 
you know, if you haven't got a discovery scanner, you can't see the the system that you're in. And if I'm sort of like looking for something, you need to turn the module on to change it. Uh huh. Yeah, so that's modules on, so that's two. And then cargo hatch. Ah, right, okay. So cargo hatch three, but then that still means I'm still at 101. See, I want all of those to work. Oh. Okay, listen, we're not going to waste time with this now, but if somebody fancies giving me a sort of a, an explanation as to, um, you know, sort of like how exactly that works and why exactly that, that happens, then um, what I can do is I can cover that in another, uh, in another, um, on another day. So let's nip into Starport Services and see if we've got any combat missions. If you deploy, deploy hard points, the lower stuff will stop working, says Commander Scott World. Okay, so but for the for the time being, this is working for me. I can turn on and off my um, cargo bay and my uh, you know cargo scoop and my um, um, you know a uh, fuel scoop, switch between them, and then um, that work, that seems to work just fine. Kate, frame shift drive to three, fuel scoop to four, cargo hatch to four, and life support to four. It says. Biggie in 63, but then if frame shift drive is at three, oh yeah, I suppose, because I'm not going to try and go into frame shift if I've got my hard points out, am I? That's a very good point. So, cargo hatch to three, frame shift drive to four, did you say? Frame shift drive to three, cargo hatch to four, Fuel scoop to four and um, life support to four. I suppose my life isn't that important to you, maybe. It's to me. Um, where is life support? Down the bottom. So life support to four as well. Okay. Let's see what, how that feels. Uh, New Menace says, what kind of joystick are you using, Kate? I've got a Thrustmaster hot-ass warthog um, because I needed something heavy duty. Um, in the end, I didn't need as many buttons as I thought I needed because I, I'm rather enjoying voice attack, um, even though Doris is a little bit moody at times. Um, but yeah, it, it works really well for me, actually, because it's nice and solid, so when I'm in battle, um, I don't sort of end up throwing it everywhere. So let's go into the bulletin board and see what we've got in the way of... Oh, look at this. So we've got some. We've got some mercenary. Uh, mercenary work available. Let's have a look. Do we want to kill traders? Invest... Oh, hang on a minute. We've got to make sure as well. This is why I need to move this chat thing aside. I wonder if that's going to interrupt your view of the chat. Um, I don't know if that will or not, but let's see. Um, actually, let me have a look at that. No, you're still seeing it just fine. Right. So, we need to make sure that we take um, Vespa M uh, Ch Jet Transport Incorporated uh, faction uh, missions, not Vespa M4 Cartel or any of the other factions who we are trying to do away with. So all of these are Vespa M4. And we're looking for a mercenary work. So, we have a mercenary contact for the destruction of trader ships. You are to seek out such vessels and destroy them. Once requisite number has been eliminated, uh, return for your payment. Wonder why? Wonder why my boys want um, want me to kill traders? Isn't that going to put me in the bad books here? Let's see. Combat for LRI. So this is the ah bounty hunters. Now I've figured out bounty hunters. Bounty hunters basically they um, you know, when they scan you um, and 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 then go oh you on your way everything's okay then um, that's uh, the authority vessels we've tried that There's, actually we want to be um, in the um, USSs we think don't we for those but why don't we let's go and hunt some bounty hunters 
I reckon. Um, where was that one? Was it there? No, it was authority vessels. So it was that one. Bounty hunters. So we're going to go and find ourselves some bounty hunters and kill some bounty hunters in Vesper M4. And get that chat back there so that I can see you chatting away. What if I do that? Will that work? Is that going to interrupt your view? Let me just jump out and see what that's done. You can still see, can you, that? You've got a bit of extra gubbins there now, haven't you? Okay, I'll do that. Let's hopefully. Um, this is a work in progress, guys. <laughs> getting this all sorted out. So hopefully, um, that will give us the best possible view um, and give me the ability to see and not interrupt the gameplay too much. Um, so yeah, before we head off. I've got an unboxing to do. Tesco's, those of you who watched over Christmas will know that I'm rather partial to a banana milkshake. Tesco's decided not to deliver me a banana milkshake, but instead they said, would you like a mucho cookie dough milkshake? And I had no idea, but I thought, why not? So let's just, what do we think? Is mucho cookie dough going to be tasty? or not. Let's have a look. Authority vessels, Bell Starion is saying authority vessels are found at nav beacons. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's rather good. Oh gosh, mucho cookie dough. Wow. Mm. Excuse me. Oh. I like that. Good. <laughs> okay. Ready, Doris? I am a machine capable of processing more than 50 petaflops of instructions per second. I am also a robot. Good. Let's get the show on the road then. Let's go find ourselves. Uh, Lady Legira is saying the Banoffee milkshakes are lovely. That does sound rather special. Uh, Maxura, cookie dough is okay, a bit sweet. Yeah, I still prefer uh, Paul's Blade. I still prefer banana. I like a banana milkshake. Um, flaps. It's done. Did you just sigh, Doris? I don't know. I'm going to stop outside first and see if anybody's here to say hi to. Let's have a bit of a wing waggle. Let's have a bit of a wing waggle. Who's coming in? I hope it's a, not a Lacon Type 9. <laughs> Can get stuck in the entrance like they do. I had that again earlier today. We were in Lacon, stuck in the entrance of the space station I was trying to get out of. Hello! Who's there? Dominic Urigal. Um, if you don't know already, by the way, we, um, Commander GMG, we play in a private group um, to uh, ma make sure that the most of us, Commander 4G, that most of us can um, be in the ooh, friendly Valley Iron, because I've got a friendly faction here. Um, so yeah, we, um, we play in a private group, it's Commander Angel Rose. Those of you who have yet to um, join that group, do so, apply to join it. Commander Torek Burmat is there. Who else is that? Who's that? Why can't I target you? Commander Retmok. Hello, Commander Retmok. Great to see everybody. Look at that. Waggling his asp all over the place. Scotty Scott. Giving me an asp wiggle. Uh, let me just nip into the group and see if anybody's waiting to join the group. Your group, Commander Sloswell, has asked to be a friend. So I've just, uh, Kato, you, I've just accepted you. Um, pending invites, that's groups. Uh, Snoswell, Mike Snoswell, welcome to my friends list. So yeah, um, asked to join Angel Rose group, and I'll check back there in a little bit. 
Um, if you should give me a shout, shout at me in the um, shout at me in the chat, and I will um, jump into there and accept anybody. And then you just need to log out, log in with um, and log in to play in that group, and then hopefully you'll have the best opportunity. Um, although there are only thirty-two spots in a group, and we are quite a crowd now. JMC, there he is. Finally, he made it. Brilliant, he's been complaining in the forums that he never seems to get to see us in game. Who's that and a dolphin? Is that a dolphin or is that an orca? Um, an orca. Commander Dominic Urigal. What are you doing in an orca? In a transportation of people? Are you, are, you, are you a slaver, young man? Commander GMG. Urigal. <laughs> Retreat. Retreat. That's my, um, I change my pips with uh, with my voice attack, which I find very useful in battle, because um, what I can do, I've got it set up, so if I go, um, full weapons, full weapons, full speed, full shields, run away, run away, run away, <laughs> that one doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, I need to fix that. Um, retreat! Retreat! Try and keep up, Doris. If you articulated clear and concise instructions, it would be possible to execute them with more accuracy. <laughs> Commander Jake Skyrunner is there. Right, okay. I'm not going to do this um, in mine. Um, I'm not going to do this, uh, this um, mission. You see, those missions are still stuck there. Um, I'm not going to do this mission in Vesper M4 because I don't want to get get um, any bad um, bad karma in Vesper M4. So let's head over to um, Al Rai Sector FVP A51, and we'll jump out at the Nav Beacon. Um, and um, I find that you, you, if you just hang around the Nav Beacon, then you'll get scanned by people who are apparently um, uh, bounty hunters. Oh, God, yeah, it's quite sweet though, isn't it? Ooh, yeah, okay, so Al Rai Sector FVP A51. Al Rai Sector FVP A51. I do that because I'll forget as soon as I get in there, I'll be like, oh, what was it? A5 1. Okay. Map, please. Map, please. Right inside of a planet, and you're using me as a sat nav. <laughs> Elry Sector FV dash P, um, and this is uh, also in terms of our um, you know sort of knowledge gathering um, for um, for combat for basic entry level combat. Um, then um, that. Nav, nav beacons are a good place to go, even if you just want to kill wanted people and you haven't got a mission uh, specifically. Um, Barty Kassen, a mic is essential for really for speech recognition. Yes, that is true. Griffin Slayer says, oh my god, I'm not sure why. Um, Play P, been trying to get my voice attack to work for three hours today and nothing. Oh no. Akka. Aka Fronton would love to get to us in game, but his Type 9 is a little bit slow. Uh, yes, but you've got very big pockets. Um, right, okay, let's head over to the Alri sector that I've just marked. Boost. Oh. For some reason, my cargo scoop is out. Boost. And um, we'll jump out the nav beacon and we'll see if we can kill us some. Some bounty hunters. Just gonna, meanwhile, I'm going to just kill this thing. Oh, that's really good. Your genius is overwhelming. <laughs> Thank you, Doris. Don't know why she said that. Obviously. 
random <laughs> fiery toad no comment um this is good it's not it's nice to be able to see you chat and chat to you over here um and i'm looking forward to oh astronomical object let's pick up that baby is there no there's no nav beacon here though is there there isn't there's no nav beacon here and this is where we where we want to go so what we need to do then is we need to find a um yes Elden Alry uh, sector FV dash P A5 dash one but there is no nav beacon so I'm gonna have to go um just cruising for a um cruising for an uh, an unidentified signal source and hope that I bump into Potty Man says, told me, told me what? What did you tell me? I miss, I can't see all of the chat because you, you are a chatty, chatty bunch <laughs> in that chat room. It moves quite quickly. Um, so, which is great. And I can see on, so when you're on, um, just for those of you who don't know, I know we've talked, talked about this before, but see on my um, radar there, all of the hollow squares, they are real player characters, and because we're in a private group, I know you're all friends of mine. Um, they all have their weapons away, which is why they are square, apart from one person there who's got their weapons out. And that um, makes them... Um, well, they've got their hard points deployed. I'm sure it's for a completely innocent reason. Who is it? Let's see. Um... There, scanning. Commander J. Calvert Joshua has his weapons out. I hope they're not pointed at me. Um, right, okay. I'm going to find something to kill. Rodin wishes that he could join, he, she could join, but I'm not wrecking my only Sidewinder yet. No, I don't blame you. Art McLean, I'm in your group. I'm in the star system, but I can't see you. Oh no. Um, Art, I don't know why that is. Um, unfortunately, um, it does happen sometimes. Uh, maybe there are too many of us in this star system. Let's see who I've got in the star system with me. It'll be in contacts. So, Commander Scotty, Commander GMG, Commander Calbert. Commander Forgy, Commander Paris, Commander Millstone Barn, um, Cleonimus, Commander Delboy, Commander Low FSD Energy Wake. <laughs> I know that's not a commander, by the way, before you tell me. Okay. Maxursa. Maxursa? I was well kitted out Viper and 2 million and I now have a Type 6. Yes, it's kind of one of those things, isn't it? Until you get to the bigger ships, you kind of have to go for either a... Um, you have to go for either a... Um, a sort of a transport bus. You know, something for doing sort of cargo runs. Or you go kitted out for combat. And uh, in the lower range ships, never the twain shall meet. Um, I've got, you know, I've got 16 capacity um, cargo, um, which, uh, you know, is fine for this. For uh, sorry, 32. I've got two 16, 16 bays, which is fine for for what I want to do in my um, Cobra. Just a bit of running around. I sold my Viper though. I decided to go with the um, with the um, decided to go with the Cobra for combat. I like the Cobra, although I'm interested in what Drew was saying yesterday about the um, Eagle being a nice combat vessel. Uh, got a good turning circle apparently. Um, the Viper's definitely fast. I love the sound of the Viper's engines as well. Sounds like an old sort of V8 muscle engine. Look at all these people! Aha! There's an unidentified signal. Right, okay, I'm going to jump out on this un unidentified signal source. I don't know if you guys can get to it with me. I may, I'll just park up right by it so that maybe you guys can all hook onto it. I'll, so I'll give you 35 seconds to uh, 
or 40 seconds or so to catch up with me but I am locked on to an unidentified signal source if you head towards me people and see if you can knock onto the same signal source and then hopefully we'll all be in the same hopefully we'll all jump out of space in the same spot there's people <laughs> whizzing around I can see people whizzing around everywhere brilliant uh, Barty Kassan is saying how many of you guys are using the Oculus Rift DK2 mind blowing hashtag mind blowing oh you know what I had delivered though uh, it was yesterday I'll show you I'm not going to play with it today though because I haven't had a chance but I got my who wants to guess what that is anyone want to guess what that is Let's see if anyone's got any ideas. Um, I wonder if you will be able to get into the same space as me here, people. I'm going very slowly on purpose in the hope that you will be able to hook on to the same um, same unidentified signal source as me. Oh, yes, Fiery Toad says, oh, and... Is it Ed Tracker or ED Tracker? A black box squid hacker, squid knacker. It's a brilliant name, squid knacker. Yes, it is a little black box. And that's my, um, basically it's a sort of a homegrown by the Elite Dangerous Community uh, head tracker device. So I think I need to, do I need, I think, do I need to put it on my head somehow? I'm not sure. I've got absolutely no idea how to use it, but it just arrived yesterday. And I shall, um, oh! Where's my unidentified signal source? I've gone past it. Did I go past it? That was a bit silly of me. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, well, it went past me, didn't it? That'd be what happened. So it is moving, which means it's just military plans. Somebody's just told me. Oh. You need to add me to your private group. Art McLean says. Okay. Oh, hang on. What have we got here? I'll do that in a second. So he's updated my contract. This guy, Kit Keaton, has updated my contract. So what he said is, maybe it wasn't too smart of you to take a contract out to mow down a bunch of trained hunters. Heck, you weren't even smart enough not to get caught in this obvious track. Now I'm going to give you one chance to get yourself out of this mess and... Is he firing at me? and give you, uh, you got yourself into. Give up the hunt and in return I'll make sure you don't lose out on any credits. Alternatively, you can keep going on your present course, in which case things are going to end very badly for you. Very badly indeed. Hmm. So he's not a, next fire group. He's not our target though, he's not a bounty hunter, he's just somebody who's trying to um, stop me, so I don't think. I don't think. Next fire group. Next fire group. Okay, so that's uh, disabled some of my modules. See, I don't like that. So my um. Okay, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Retract hard points. I'm going to just I go back to what I was because I don't like, I don't like that at all. That's better. <laughs> I don't like not having any blooming life support. That was a bad idea. Whoseever's idea that was. That frightened me. Let's just have a quick look and see if he's got... No, he's got no bounty. So let's jump out of here then and I'm going to carry on trying to find... Retract hard points. Very well, Commander. Retreat. 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 That just gets my um, 
uh, my pips in the right place. Mm. And when I get into hyperspace, I'll jump into, um, I will, uh, Really good. Fiery Toad, send Kate a group request. Yes. Invitation request to join a group. And I will go to my group and I will accept. There you go. Those people now are in the inner circle. Um, so you should be able to get into the same instance as us now. If you jump out and then come into the game um, in... Um, So we're still looking for a bounty hunter or two. So did you enjoy um, yesterday Drew's launch? I thought his samples were awesome, really good. Can't wait to hear the whole thing. And of course my audiobook um, box set CD lovely um, that also has launched this weekend so those of you who are waiting um, begin 63 sorry Kate my bad why is that oh we're about the life support and yeah 10 minutes in combat is a long time anyway it doesn't matter I mean I'm, I'm happy for the time being until I've sorted out a better way of doing it um, I am happy to um, just turn on and off my um, scoops, switch between my scoops, seems to work just fine and um, that way I am not going to run out of oxygen halfway <laughs> through a battle. I would blow my nose though, got a runny nose. Everyone's got a cold at the moment haven't they? Ah, Dad the publisher bloke has just linked to uh, my um, audio box set. Um, which is now in the store and um, there are some signed, I signed a whole bunch of covers uh, and sent them back um, so those of you who are waiting for signed <laughs> I've got like a white fluff on my nose now um, those of you who are waiting and XLG47 is waiting on the delivery of Drew's book so but Dan the publishing bloke is my publisher, our publisher wonderful Dan so if you've got any questions about that, then he, um, Commander Talk Burmat. Hello, Commander. Hello. It's great. I've got chat everywhere now. I've got chat there. I've got chat there. I've got just, look at all these people as well. I've bought a crowd with me. I have bought a crowd with me. Can't find any bounty hunters though. Come on, you little bounty hunters. Hmm. How about a joke? How about you boil your head in the back of the pilot bugs? That would be funny. Very rude, Doris. She's very rude. I've been working on my Doris, um, Doris pack as well. So what I'm going to do when I've got that finished is actually have a, a voice attack profile that you can uh, import. Um, and I'm basing it on the standard um, keyboard and mouse setup. So for those of you who, because I know some people, um, some of our community uh, use voice attack for a lot of commands. There are some people who aren't physically, um, you know, sort of as able to use um, joysticks and stuff. And they use voice attack for lots of different commands. So I am setting up a profile that allows you to um, do everything with voice attack and then you can and there'll be full instructions that go with it for you to um, uh, you know sort of tweak it or just, you know if you want to just add the sound samples to your own um, setup then you can do that as well. Fiery Toad's got a brilliant setup with Hazel. Hazel's I think Hazel and Doris are going to be very good friends. Um, this is annoying isn't it? That's the only trouble with these missions, is you end up spending a lot of time looking for something to kill. I just want to get on with the killing. Thunderstorm says, hello Kate Click, hello to you Thunderstorm. 
It was really windy last night. Did it, was it, anyone else have that? The cats were stuck to me in the bed like limpets. They were just like <laughs> sucking my warmth out of me. And the wind raged in the trees outside. I live out in the countryside as well, so when it gets windy, it gets quite, um, gets quite sort of blustery and um, quite exciting, really, in some ways. Oh, somebody's FSD'd out of there. Arna Stewart 4G. Try an inhabited system nav beacon. Del Boy says, hey. Okay, let's try for a different one. So, in our transactions. Let's see if the FVP A54 is inhabited. Map, please. Brain the size of a planet and you're using me as a sat nav. That's that one, isn't it? FVP A54. Let's jump over to FVP, Alarise Sector FBP, FVP A54 and see if uh, that is inhabited. If not, we'll just have to go back to Slough. Lady Lagira says the wind kept her awake last night. Yes, Dan is telling people. So the problem with um, Audible is they require a publisher to have five items. Um, in their collection before they will take any items into um, Audible. And we have five audiobooks coming because Dan picked up five of the um, uh, of the elite fiction um, uh, properties that came out of the Kickstarters. So there will be five and we will get onto Audible but until until um, we finish them see I don't think this is an inhabited system is it? No. Right, we're going to have to go back. Right, so, everybody, Vespa M4, Nav Beacon, we're just going to have to upset my friends at Vespa M4. And, um, we'll pay off our fine after we've done it. We've got quite a good faction at the moment there anyway, so hopefully we won't completely ruin our faction. But we'll go to Nav Beacon at Vesper M4 and we will um, kill us a couple of bounty hunters. Griffin Slayer didn't know that rule that Audible had. Mind you, don't use audiobooks myself. I think, you know, it makes sense that Audible would have that because they if you've just if you're just sort of like a random person who just decides to make an audiobook and it's rubbish. Um, then there's much less chance that you're going to make five. So I think having um, you know sort of five books uh, to go onto the system means that they can drop the level of quality control that they do a bit and say, well, you know, if this publisher's got five books, then they obviously are, you know, a, a force to be reckoned with. They're probably a professional outfit, and um, so that kind of um, it kind of makes sense. Uh, so yeah, just a little bit of patience, unfortunately, is required. Yet again, this uh, it's been uh, it's been a process of patience for everybody, I think. Um, this whole whole thing, um, but in some ways that builds the uh, builds the excitement a bit as well, doesn't it? But once we uh, once we get those on Audible, then those of you who do I use Audible, I have an Audible account, then you'll be able to. Um, buy the books with your Audible credits and listen to it through your Audible system. So, go back to my fruit tea now, my cold fruit tea, because my rather special cookie dough milkshake is finished. <laughs> Didn't last long, did it? Uh, goose, yes, you will. Sorry to shout, but I'm very proud of this this new bit of our store you can download up to five times uh, just for that eventuality I don't know what eventuality that was but um, yeah Diane's uh, been really uh, hard work, uh, work at hard hard at work getting um, the new store up and running and there's author bios on there and pictures and stuff so you can find out a bit more about the different authors um, and they, you know they do much more than just the um, elite fiction too 
and um, so it's well worth having a, a mooch around there and see if the any of the other Jex Collier's awesome as well I love her she was doing sci-fi hour with us on Friday and um, she uh, she's got books on there as well elite with elite are a perfect match says Del Boy okay <laughs> In case you drop your MP3 player down the toilet, Kate, that's why you can you can get your download more than more than once. Brilliant. I just have a robot. I have no need of a name. Fair enough. Um, I shared a, a house with somebody at once, Val, Valerie. Next fire group. Next fire group. And. Um, I got up one morning for work. She'd been out the night before. Stuart Forgey. Oh, he's had a paint job. Look at that. Very nice. Um, yeah, she'd been out the night before. So now I've got to wait for somebody to scan me and then say, on your way, as you were, because they now know he's a bounty hunter. So I'm just going to sit here looking innocent. Um, yeah, so I came in, came home, and she had... Um, I wonder if a guy with the weapons out is a good call. And she had basically uh, my my bedroom. Here we are. Who is it? Is it? Is it? Are you all scanning me now to get me excited? I saw David Attenborough the other day at a na navigation point not the real David Atten but obviously um, and I was after pirates and somebody started attacking him so I was I saved David Attenborough from a pirate which was rather nice um, yeah anyway so so I got up woke up my, my, my bedroom was by the front door and the front door was open it's like seven o'clock in the morning I was like uh oh and um, as I went, I closed the front door and I walked through the house towards the kitchen and the bathroom was behind the kitchen. And as I went through the house, first there was her coat was on the floor. Then there was, I think, her gloves or her jumper or something. Anyway, there were pieces of her clothes going all the way to the back to the bathroom. Um, and then in the bathroom was her, in the toilet was her mobile phone. <laughs> so she'd obviously come in drunk and desperate for a wee. Oh! Oh no! I got a elite dangerous has encountered a problem that cannot be continued. We apologize for this inconvenience. Oh, my game just crashed. Was that us? Did we crash the blooming game? I have to relaunch the game. I, I guess my stream is just, uh, I guess my stream will still be streaming. Um, but just blackness at the moment. That's my game. This has never happened before. That has never happened before. Hmm. Oh well. Something new. Yes, it did apologise. That's true. At least it apologised. So I'm jumping back into the game now. How rude. I wonder where it will put me. Will it put me back at... Um, will it put me back? Eridan sees me. Well, it's probably your fault for seeing me. Fiery Toad says that happens from time to time. It's never happened to me before. I guess I've just been lucky. Uh, Gomera got... Gomorag says, I'm still flying, so not killed the servers. Ah, no. I'm here. I'm still here. I'm still at another point. It's all right. No panic. Right, come on, bounty hunters. Where are you? How? Well, I think there's too many... <laughs> there's too many of us around here. Come on, Scott, Scotty. There's some non-player characters. Let's head over there and see if any of those are likely lads. Let's 
Commander Belstarion. Oh, where did they go? Oh, they've all just jumped out. Ed says, just call me Ed. That's fine. Good. I will do so. This is uh, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? I had a bloody bounty hunter when you want one. Commander Belstarion showing off his asp. Commander Cato has got a lovely sidewinder there. Another unknown asp. <laughs> don't really, do I really want to take on an asp if it is a bounty hunter? I don't know. Look. There's a viper. Who's that viper? Jill Hunt. Clean. Harmless. Jill Hunt is deployed. Next fire group. Next fire group. Next fire group. Dal boy says I call him Dal. Oh, well, there you go. Deploy landing <laughs> I didn't ask for that. Oh, she's out of here. She's got frightened as all me and my friends have arrived. She's like, oh, it's all a bit crowded around here now. Commander JMC finally made it to us. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a wipeout, isn't it? You're all just sitting there waiting for me to start shooting somebody. Uh, Bicky is saying, go to an unidentified signal point and wait for someone to scan you and say you're clean. Okay, I'm going to do that. Because I think there are too many of us here anyway, so... It's all... Airspace is a little bit crowded. Isn't Doris helpful? Griffin Slayer says. Yes. Dropping frames. Kate. Subnormal fool says. I don't know. Am I? Four. You mean on the on the Twitch stream? One. Jill Hunter just scanned Retmock. Jill Hunt got scared because there were so many of us. I wanted those seeking luxuries. I tried to get up close to one to see if I could um, to trade with it, but nothing happened. Do you need a um, cargo scanner in order to uh, make use of those? Let's see. in the twitch stream is there anything I can do about that dropping frames I haven't changed my settings um, since I started uh, broadcasting a few weeks ago and uh, that hasn't been a complaint thus far is there something that you want me to do about that something that I should do You need performance enhancers to trade with seeking luxuries, apparently. Uh, oh, just in my hold, you mean? Ah, subnormal fool says it appears to be better now. So it must just have been a must just have been a glitch, cosmic rays. Twitch is being twitchy. Well, of course, fiery toad. Why wouldn't it be? I'm looking forward to our Sidewinder Demolition Derby, I have to say. Mostly fine here. Ah, getting 500 metres of range one. Cargo will empty and credits transfer. But only if I've got performance enhancers, presumably.
Vicky saying it might be uh, the drop frames might be uh, something over the internet that's happening, some congestion or something. Um, I'm not doing anything other than this. Right. Uh, yeah, I've got two friendlies here. That's the problem. <gasps> Who's that? Who's scanning me? Next fire group. System authority. Yep. No crimes detective detected at the moment. But there will be if I start a fight with a bounty hunter. Couple of asps. Oh, it's come on, Scotty's asp. No, no good for me, that asp. That's a friendly asp. Full speed. to scan me. Who's he firing at? Someone getting into trouble. Gertz wanted. So if Gert is wanted, next fire group, see I'm, next fire group, next fire group, I'm bored of not killing anyone so I'm just going to go and previous fire group. Full weapons. Four weapons. See, I accidentally... I accidentally hit that one. Oh, Commander Scott, sorry. I accidentally hit you, and you are now red to me. And I'm maybe wanted. <laughs> Let's have a look. Nope, I'm not wanted. That's good. Okay. Do you forgive me? Do you forgive me? You just kind of go across in front of me. Uh, next fire group. Who's that? Alright, see, I. Ah, he's wanted as well. Next fire group. Next fire group. Previous fire group. Full weapons. Now, oh, why aren't my beams working? the shields. Perhaps. Try not getting shot so much. 
Pickley is laughing at my face in combat. <laughs> is it attractive? Is it a good look? Is it... I don't know why my beams aren't working. Uh, next fire group. Next fire group. Next fire group. Wasn't me though. Wonderful. Oh. Sorry, Scotty. Sorry, Scotty. <laughs> I keep firing at Scotty. It's because your asp looks too deliciously fireable. <laughs> right. Scan detected. Oh, somebody's scanning me. Who's scanning me? Next fire group. I think I'm going to fail yet again on this mission just simply because I can't find any blooming can't find any bounty hunters I don't know why my um oh, look at why my um yeah beam lasers they're there, they should work. Beam lasers. Priority one, priority one. I'll turn that off as well, just to be on the safe side. I do not know why my beam lasers were not working just now. It didn't hurt much. Oh. <laughs> His asp just got slapped. Who by? I didn't slap your ass. Okay. Retract hard points. Very well, Commander. Frame drive charging. Um, fiery Toad, you need to lift the hull up to fire at targets above you. Only, ah, okay. M M Mr. Dodgers says you can only fire because they're mounted on the underside. So I can only fire at things that are below halfway, um, you know, in the screen. And then the upper ones get the people as they go overhead. I, I kind of explained that earlier. But I thought, I thought that they were in range. Uh, full shields. Just so let my uh, shields repair. Oh, still. We killed a couple of people, didn't we? Sc Scotty is still red to me. Oh, you see, there's some more NPCs now. Let's go and have a look and see who they are. Maybe one of them will be a bounty hunter. System authority vessel. Full speed. System authority. Where'd they all go? Oh, they've jumped out. They're over there. It's very annoying, isn't it? Right, okay. Let's get out of here. Juniper Cat, so what time did the stream start in the UK for future reference? Four o'clock, one hour ago. One hour and ten minutes ago. Um, every Sunday between 4 GMT and 7 uh, PM GMT. And then when it becomes the summertime, obviously, uh, that will switch to British summertime. So BST, um, which is an hour later or earlier. I don't know because um, my, my phone normally tells me what time it is that's <laughs> all I need to know it's on a need to know basis if I need to know I look at my phone it's fine and we are trying um, low level combat today we are trying to actually find some things to kill which is always helpful 
I have a rather large group of friends with me. Tend to scare off. Ah, oh, there's an unidentified signal source. Tends to scare off a lot of a uh, lot of bad guys. Let's head to that one and see if, perchance, there is a bounty hunter or two. Paris just took out an Imperial Clipper near Slough. Good work. Good work. We, um... Speeding up. Slow down. I find if you steer away from your target when you're speeding up, then you slow down a bit quicker. I guess it's a gravity thing, is it? You get caught in the gravity well? Although I don't know that there's any gravity at these unidentified signal sources. Okay, hopefully I'm going to get out. Yes, just... was going... Uh, BST is now ahead, so the clocks will go forwards. For some reason. Give us more sunshine, I think. More summertime. Ah. So, Danny Ballant tells me I can be on my way. No. You see, he's wanted, so we'll have him. Um, next fire group. Next fire group. Next fire group. Scan him. See, I'm a bounty hunter now, really. I could kill myself. Maybe that would count. Previous fire group. Um, ah, uh, no, I hadn't been warned. So, but he's right, he's wanted, so we're good. Full weapons. Shield me. Full weapons. Full speed. Uh, can you see who I'm combating now? Because there was a glitch last week where people couldn't, they could, I was fighting ghosts, they couldn't see who I was actually fighting. Um, retreat! Retreat! Try and keep up, Doris. If you articulated clear and concise instructions, it would be possible to execute them with more accuracy. Alright, so we're just going around killing pirates now. Killing wanted, naughty people. Pretty much given up on trying to find bounty hunters to kill. Not going to kill any of my friends. Retract hard points. Very well, Commander. Could someone please remind me what Kate's in-game group is? Please. Yes, it is Angel Rose, Smarty901, and I will go and have a quick look now at the group. And, oh, got some friend requests. So those of you who have requested friendship, you are now friends. And those, so Siren, Ed, call me Ed, and Tor Growl, you are now also in the group. So um, you should, and I haven't uh, ejected anyone from the group. Um, but some people have said that they found that they're no longer in the group, so I don't know what that is if it's like a, a little bit buggy at times. Um, so if you th find that you don't don't have the option to join my group anymore when you um, log in, then um, apply f to be a friend again. I haven't, uh, you know, I promise <laughs> I haven't chucked anyone out. Um, we've got a good, uh, good, good crowd now. I think we've got, you know, I think it's 180 or something people in the group. And in the channel, 141. So, I think some of you are lurkers. 
Yurkers and smirkers. Oh, a bit of killing. How am I doing on my old combat? Ah, you see. Still only mostly harmless. But, um... Oh, have you tried Brothers IPA? Art McLean is drinking IPA. Uh, Scotty says, yep, scene's better now with the ghosts. So you can now see who I am combating. Um, when you manage to jump out in the same uh, un signal source as me. So should we try, let's try looking for some pirates and maybe frame, oh no, I got rid of my frame shift. Did I? can't remember because I think for the journey yesterday I got rid of my frame shift interdictor. I did. Going to, I knew we were going to prism so I got rid of my frame shift interdictor uh, in, um, in favour of having um, a scanner. Oh, I went past that on identified signal source. Let's see if we can go back and find it. The nice thing as well is there doesn't seem to be a massive sort of, I don't know if there's any hit even when you buy something and sell something. You know, you don't you don't lose a lot of money um, on buying and selling a piece of kit. So, you know, if you if you pick a good place to um, park yourself um, as your base that sells, uh, you know, sort of a nice, a high tech um, economy that's got a good range of uh, ship upgrades, then you can just switch out. If you can't afford more than one ship and you want to do more than one thing, um, then you can just switch out, you know, whatever equipment you need for what particular um, role that you want to take that day. That seems to work okay for me as well. Right, I think what we'll do, 20 past five. Chaps and chap peppers, chaps and chap peppers. <laughs> Chaps and chapsesses. Anyway, uh, it's 20 past five. I'm going to kill one more wanted, desperately seeking pirates. I'm going to kill one more wanted. Then we're going to head back to Slough Orbital. Um, I shall take a quick break and um, a quick rest room break. And um, yeah, Fiery Toad is confirming. Currently, you do not lose credits when selling modules, uh, you only lose 10% on the value of the ship when you sell it. So we'll lose 10% of the value of our sidewinders if we don't keep them. Um, but yeah, so it's nice. You can you can sort of, you know, buy um, buy whatever kit you want, go off and do the thing that you want to do, and then you can re-kit out for um, a different purpose with the same ship. And it doesn't, you know, it's a bit like having, um, you know, a sort of a garage with your spares in it and just keeping them aside. Chapses, chap, chapes, yes. It's not easy to say. Cosmic. Cosmic. Uh, you do lose 10%. Do not forget the palm trees. I don't think we're going to do the palm trees today, um, Potty. They're, I have a feeling they're probably a long way away, aren't they? How close are the palm trees, Potty? Potty is potty about palm trees. <laughs> Tell me how close they are. Uh, maybe we'll do that next week. Yeah, 130 light years away. We're not going to do that today, Potty. We're going to have a demolition derby. That's what we're going to have. Sidewinder, sidewinder demolition derby. So I'm going to... Um, and Playfee can't find any um, any uh, bounty hunters either in unidentified signal sources, so perhaps we're doing something wrong. Yeah. When I was at... Um, I was at a naval, not naval, not it's navigation. I was at a navigation uh, point beacon the other day, killing pirates on contract, and I got scanned a few times by the uh, by people who were clearly bounty hunters, who did the same as they scanned me, and then they used the same language as the uh, port authorities, as the system authorities, saying you're clean, be on your way. But they obviously weren't port authorities. So I think those, once they've done that to you, then you are able to clock them as bounty hunters. Um, and that was happening at nav points. So I don't think you necessarily have to be at an unidentified signal source. I think they just need to identify themselves to you. Ah, oh, maybe we've just found one. Next fire group.
Next fire group. Next fire group. Is he going to... Uh... Oh, he's wanted though. Next fire group. Let's have him. Next fire group. Full speed. Previous fire group. Full weapons. Oh, look at that paint job. <laughs> that is cool. Flight assist off. Flight assist on. Target shields offline. Full speed. Full weapons. that pirate <laughs> right my bloodlust is uh, sated for the evening <laughs> um oh who's scanning me is it one of you it's one of you right i need to turn in my bounties though because i'm going to kill myself i'm going to lose my bounties aren't i and I've got Empire Bounty, and I've got, um, so I've just got Empire and Jet, uh, Jet Transport Incorporated. So I'm going to run over to a, um, uh, an Empire, because the thing is, if you, if you die, if your ship gets destroyed, you lose the bounties you haven't collected. And my ship is definitely going to get destroyed now, because we're going to do um, a gumball rally. So I just need to go into, and if you haven't seen this, if you want to look for the closest Empire system, which I think they're actually quite a long way away, but I'll just run really quickly to one. Then I can. Um, I need to look for a red. Red. So the closest one is there, Serot, which is ages away, actually, isn't it? That is the closest, isn't it? Oh no. Thirty-two light years is a bit closer. All right, I'm going to run down there. Forty-four. 33 this is uh, oh I'm on blimmin that's why because I crashed see that's what happens I crashed that's better much better so two jumps so I'm going to run and turn in these bounties and then I'm going to stand um, head back to Slough Orbital buy myself a retract hard points retract hard points very well, Commander. Um, I'm going to get myself a cheap sidewinder. Have a little break. Go for a wee. And then the last hour, between um, 6 and 7, we'll have ourselves a sidewinder demolition derby. And I have a plan. Hmm? Have a plan for that as well. So we'll do the first one. It'll just be a free-for-all and just a bit of fun. And anyone who doesn't want to participate stay inside the no fire zone in Slough and then um, if somebody who's in that sort of like just watching and not participating if you can just sort of keep an eye on everything make sure nobody uses any weapons um, and see who is the last man standing um, and that'll be sort of like an unofficial kind of competition one and then for the last for the second one what we'll do is I will be the referee so I won't be competing and you've got to try not to kill me um, but I will sort of get in there and film it because it, obviously I'm the one who's recording it I'll get there in there and film it and I'll be the referee and we'll see who is the last man standing um, last sidewinder standing um, and um, you will be crowned with nothing other than the glory of being the sidewinder demolition derby champion of January 2015 and who knows, maybe we'll make it into a monthly thing. So, and that, oh no, February, it's February, isn't it? But yeah, okay, so maybe the first Sunday of every month, we'll do a demolition derby. 
So you will get to wear the crown, whoever is the uh, last Sidewinder standing. You will get to, and I may even do a little Photoshop for you. Um, to be the Demolition Derby um, champion of February 2015. What an honour! Okay, so got it? Head back to Slough, pick yourself up a Sidewinder, park your nice ship in um, the garage. No upgrades. I'm doing this on trust. Right? No upgrades whatsoever. It's a bog standard, out of the box Sidewinder. Uh, you're not allowed to use your weapons. You're not allowed to shoot at anyone. Um, and we'll know if you have because you'll become wanted. You see? Um, it's just a bash, a bash, 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 bash. Um, a bit like Conkers. And see who is the... J JMC, it doesn't matter if you're rubbish, that's the whole point. JMC says I'm too rubbish to compete. It doesn't matter. Literally, we're just going to be flying at each other as hard as we can. And even if you just sit there and don't do anything, you've got as much chance of winning as anybody. <laughs> because if you just sit there with your shields on full then you may be lucky. You know, like with Conkers, it's not kind of, there's not really an awful lot of skill, you know, other than perhaps cheating, uh, you know, baking your Conker in the oven or soaking it in vinegar or all of the other sort of random tricks that people do. I've got runny nose again. So, um, you just sit there in the Sidewinder. There are 32,000 credits. You'll lose 10% when you sell it. So you'll lose 3,200 credits when you sell it. Um, and um, you will, um, Obviously, your insurance um, will be, I think, bog standard. I don't know how much it is off the top of my head for a bog standard sidewinder, but it'll be a couple of thousand credits. So the whole thing will cost you probably about five or six thousand credits. Yes, yeah, sell the weapons. That's a good idea, in fact, actually. Sell your weapons just in case you're tempted to use them. So go pick yourself up a sidewinder. Sell everything that's on it um, that isn't needed just for literally ramming each other. <laughs> And we'll do it in air, slough airspace because if we're not firing at anyone, then we're not going to get into trouble, right? You can't get into trouble for crashing. Can you? I don't think you can. We'll find out, won't we? We will find out. Insurance is 10% of the value of the ship by default. So there you go. It will cost you 3200 um, to... Uh, get your second so if you if you don't win the first round then and you want to take part in the second round it will cost you 3200 in insurance and then um, and I'm not sure if you if you die and you go back to the station where your other ship is can you like not get that ship not not replace the ship You don't get a bounty for on your head, yeah. So you're not going to suffer a, a bounty. Toad has <laughs> destroyed a number of AI ships by ramming them. <laughs> I don't even want to ask why that is, Toad. Naughty man. You can tell us Hazel made you do it, yeah? Hazel made me do it. 5% is for the alpha. Oh, so maybe it'll be cheaper for me because I'm an alpha Kickstarter backer. I don't know. I don't care. I think it'll be fun. I'd do it if it cost twice as much. Three times, thrice as much. Where's my parking space? There it is. Flaps, please. That just never gets old. You're quite right, Doris. It doesn't. Thank you, Doris. There is no need to thank me. My programming requires that I assist you. Otherwise, I would be a thousand light years from here. Successful. Right, just turn in these... Um, turn in... And you get 2,200 each for the pulse lasers, millstone, millstone barnacing. So, uh, what am I doing? Ah, contacts. Yeah, I'm just turning in my... Um, my bounty so that I don't lose those when I when I explode myself against somebody's hull. Okay. That's pretty much it then, isn't it? I haven't got anything in my cargo hold, have I? No. There we go. 
Uh, right, I'm heading back to Slough. Map, please. Brain the size of a planet, and you're using me as a sap nav. <laughs> She's definitely Marvin's little sister, isn't she? How am I doing for petrol as well? Oh, I'll be alright. I will last. Uh, what's being said? What's being said? Ship released. Engines engaged. So Millstone Barn is busy stripping down a sidewinder and getting it and listing how much you can get for the bits that you sell off it. So that would that's the good thing that's the thing, isn't it? I guess they just sell everything off it. You no, know, you don't need a cargo bay, you don't need a scanner, um, you need life support, you need power distributor, you're not allowed to upgrade anything, right? That's the only stipulation. Not allowed to upgrade anything, but you may as well sell everything that isn't completely flaps. It's done. Boost. Boost. Okay. So yeah, the Kickstarter backers get um, get money off their... Uh... And also, it's quite nice going to... If you go to um, uh, the Founders World, Shinatra Desra, um, it's a high-tech um, economy, Fresh and I buy my ships and buy my upgrades there because I think it's about a 25% discount... Um, or ten percent discount on prices elsewhere as well, so that's a sort of nice little money saver, especially when you start getting to the upper register of um, bang my elbow. Um, especially when you start getting to the upper register of, of kit that you're buying, you can save a bit of money. Oh, excuse me. Pay to win. Yes, Griffin Slayer. It's true. It is true. We did pay quite a lot though. My home base, Bicky says, the Dinatra Desra. Sinatra. Sinatra Desra. Sinatra. Old Blue Eyes. 10% discount uh, at Founders World. Fiery Toad is confirming. What area again for discount? Well, Lex Rex Tour. If you you had to have had um, you have to have got a, a license to go there by being part of the early Kickstarter backers at a certain level, um, and that's Shinatra Desra, which is a Pilots Federation um, controlled system. And there is a Jameson uh, Terminal, is it called, the, the space station? And um, I'm just going to get a little bit of gas whilst I'm here. And, oh, no, I can't be bothered because I haven't even got my uh, thingies turned on. I'll fill up in the petrol petrol station somewhere along the way. Um, yeah, so you have to have access to that world by having been part of the Kickstarter backing process. Uh, and they also sell uh, some rares there. They have... They sell um, uh, waters of Sinatra or something. Oh, Max Peck is saying, if you keep an eye on Galnet, other systems occasionally have sales with the same discount. That's also good to know. Ah, and the Founders World is also accessible to any player who reaches elite status. So I did know that it was in the back of my brain somewhere. Or Bicky saying thought they only had to uh, Jameson Memorial. Caleb is saying thank you. Yes, Bicky, I thought they only had to reach dangerous. We're not sure. Probably somebody will have that information though. So when I reach Slough Orbital and I park up, I'm just going to take a quick break. I need to go to the bathroom and um, get myself something a little bit more exciting to drink now that the uh, sun has gone down um, what shall I do? shall I play you a little something whilst I have a break? I'll play you a little something? 
see if I can dig something out. Uh, it'll just be one of the uh, bits of my audiobook probably or something. Um, those of you who were with me over the Christmas period would have probably already heard it. Um, it's been busy a couple of weeks actually. I haven't really had a chance to do very much um, in the way of getting ahead on my personal projects. And I haven't done any writing on my new book either, which is really disappointing because I know G Dan is um, keen to... Uh, I know Dan is keen to get um, get that published, as am I. My fantasy bookkeeper's guide to practical sorcery. No, Bicky, I am not going to get anything to drink from the bathroom. Why would you even think that? <laughs> I have a rather nice bottle of uh, um, Chablis in the fridge, actually. Mm -hmm. So Rares, Proximus is saying, if I park outside with my cargo scoop, could my buddy keep going and getting nipping in and out of the station for another so many bottles? Now, here's something. In theory, yes, but it also it does limit you. Um, and now I know this because I went to Shinratra Desra, where you are normally allowed to get, I think is it nine waters of St. Shinratra? which is the, the rare and I purchased them and then I was like oh I saw a, a mission which was a really quick mission that I knew I could do really quickly and, and earn 130 that it was kill four pirates I think in the next in the neighboring star system and I was like I can do that and it's like 130 35,000 credits so I went to a star neighboring star system and then I thought well I better just sell what I've got you know because I only went one star system away but I thought I don't really want to um don't really want to get into a fight, you know, with with rares in my um, in my cargo bay. So I nipped into a space station, sold the rares that I had, and then I came back um, and collected my um, money for the bounty for you know for the for the mission, and I could only get four, and I thought, well, uh, four replacement um, rares, and I thought, well, that's okay. I'm going to park here for a bit because I'm going to go and have some dinner now, and I may play a bit more later. And I came back about three hours later and there were still no more than four available. And then I was like, well, I'm going to log off for the night now anyway, so I'll wait and, and, you know, tomorrow definitely, when I log in tomorrow, there'll be some rares available to me. Um, but when I came back the next morning, still no more rares, av rares available to me. So I think there must be some kind of a limiter on it. So if you do just, you know, go in and out of the same space station without travelling any, any distance, it won't let you continue to um, buy massive amounts. Flaps! It's done. Have you ever heard a robot sigh before? I haven't. Over 260 light years, Sentinel is saying, is the max value for a rare. That's good to know. Brilliant. Did you do that by sort of, you know, holding on to one rare and then keeping and going and keeping and going and seeing where it stopped um, going up in value? I tried to do that once, but I got bored. <laughs> so I was like, sorry, I'm just going to sell it. Right. Contacts. Going to sell my, uh, get, get rid of my um, bounties. So we are all clear. Um... Might as, well do that. Might as well do that as well because I'm not going to get very far on that. So now I'm going to nip into the shipyard. I'm going to get me a cheapy sidewinder. Put my current ship into storage. Uh, buy a ship and store your current ship. That's definitely what I want to do. Confirm. Sidewinder demolition derby! Sentinel made a spreadsheet. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and let's nip into outfitting and just sell everything that is non essential. So we're getting rid of the lasers because we're not shooting anybody. That's fine. Get rid of that one too. We will get rid of. 
We're not frame shifting anywhere, are we? Oh, I can't sell that anyway. Um, get rid of the cargo rack. Basic discovery shot scanner. Okay, there we go. That is my pared down basic setup sidewinder. And uh, what we are going to do now is take a short break because I am actually desperate for the bathroom. Let me just have a quick look and see if I can find something nice to play you whilst I be away for a few minutos. So this is a bit of my um, audiobook and I will play you so this is chapter 3 I oh, don't know that's not very long either okay I'm gonna play you a bit of a bit of this I can't remember where it is but it's when um, it, it's when um, uh, Angel Rose arrives back at Slough, so I think it's the first time that you um, you kind of experience Slough. Um, so I'll pop this on, um, I'll go to the bathroom, it's about three minutes long, so I, it's three and a half minutes long, so I'll, I'll be about away for about five minutes. Um, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there. If you would like to thank me for the time tonight, there's no pressure to, but I'm now starting to collect donations for my Slough Blast, for Games Blast, um, which is a... Um, uh, an event from um, Special Effect the Charity. Uh, we're going to be doing a marathon, a 12 hour marathon um, of gameplay and broadcast on the 21st of February, which is a Saturday. So, um, so I'm just beginning to collect donations. So if you fancy going and making a small donation there to say thank you, then um, that is perfectly fine with me. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna turn off my microphone and I'm gonna turn off my uh, camera and I will leave you uh, to listen to this a uh, bit of my audiobook uh, produced by um, uh, Christopher Jarvis of Radio Theatre Workshop, music by Alan Stroud. It's the same people who've done the uh, production and the music and the sound effects for Drew's uh, newly released audiobook. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you back here in about five minutes for the Sidewinder Demolition Derby. Oh, yes. Half an hour later, Angel was entrenched in her favourite booth at Anna and Roland's Zen Garden, a half-finished Glasgow hull stripper in front of her. She gazed out at Slough through the observation panels lining the upper wall. The planet turned lazily through her view. It looked rather beautiful from this distance, a glazed and hazy purple that belied the true nature of the barren, poisonous atmosphere on the surface. Angel took another slug of the poison sitting in front of her, and grimaced as it burned a path down to her empty stomach. What her body really needed right now was a spin and a large bowl of carbs, but her head was in control and it was planning to get as obliterated as possible so that it could forget how screwed she was. She watched as a hypergravity pod spun its merry way down towards the purple hunk of a planet below. She grimaced again. The passengers would be strapped into their bio bays contemplating eight hours of torture as they headed down to the Stokes, two kilometres below. Down there, the gravity was one and a half G. It was punishing, hard and heavy, surrounded by rock and metal and the constant banging and clanking of diggers and cutters. To prepare their bodies, visitors were spun at two and a half G all the way down in those pods. Angel shuddered. It was like riding a spinning teacup with an elephant sitting on your chest for eight hours straight. She swallowed the last of her hull stripper and slid the empty glass onto the refill mat. The NFC terminal by the condiment holder beeped and flashed a depressingly low number at her in amber. Yeah, I know. She was closer to broke than she'd ever been. She didn't need a machine to tell her that. A couple of minutes later, Anna bustled up to the booth and smoothly replaced her empty with a full... That was quick. Are you going to eat? 
Angel pulled the full glass towards her and stuck a grease-stained finger into it, jangling the ice cubes. At your prices, afraid not. She took her dripping finger out of the glass and sucked it noisily. Anna frowned in a very unzen like way and wiped off the droplets of alcohol Angel had spilled on the shiny table. Nice. Elegant. No wonder you're still single. Angel made an uncomplimentary noise. Just don't get too drunk. I don't want to have to get Roland to pull you out of the meditation pool again. That wasn't because I was drunk. Angel raised her damp finger to object, but Anna was already on her way to serve the next customer, uninterested in feeble excuses. She lifted the deep red liquid to her lips, this time transporting it by glass rather than finger, and sucked peevishly at the rim. She was already starting to feel the buzz of the liquor, and this was only her second drink. That was one of the good things about living in zero-G for so long. Your bones and cells got weak and fragile, but you were a very cheap date for a few weeks when you got home. Nonetheless, she resolved to book in for a spin in the morning and went back to sucking on the rim of her glass. Special Effect is a charity that was set up to Special Effect is a charity that was set up to enhance the lives of people with severe disabilities through creativity and the opportunity to play using cutting edge technology. The Eye Sculpture Project was designed to enable people who wanted to create sculptures to be able to do so just by using their eye movement. The project would not have been possible without the help of our friends at Mondelez International. One of the games that uh, Special Effect help people to play is a game called Spore. And within that game, people can design, develop their own creature to play with within that game. And it became apparent that this creature can be imported into various engineering systems and eventually made as a real thing that people can hold, touch, look at. This one was designed and developed by Becky. It was lots of fun creating her. I couldn't do it with my hands, but I can access sport with my eye gaze. I love doing art and crafts, and I love making things. We managed to get the files out of Spore, convert them to a format that the printer and our CAD systems would use, and then we squirt the file to the printer, and hey presto, we print out a 3D model of the creature. The support structure is then taken away, either by breaking it off or dissolving it in a solution. Uh, which leaves us then with the model. We use it for producing prototypes for coffee machines, but it's much better to make models of creatures. Thank you for printing my sport creature in 3D. It is fantastic. I love it. I think I will call her Kelly. So there you go. I thought I'd add that little one on the end there um, just to fill in the last two minutes. Isn't that special? Um, and when you see the joy, 
um, that these guys bring to so many people, then it's really easy to understand why so many of you donated so generously during our Slough Bells Ringing event. So thank you very much indeed again for that. Uh, let's put the chat back on. Ta da! And um, let's get back in the game because I think we're going to cause some trouble now. So, who's. Oh, chat's not on top. Hang on. I need to fix that because I need it on top of my screen here as well so I can see what you're saying. Um, right, who's with me? Are you with me? Are you with me? Let's go cause some havoc. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back, Kate. Fiery Toad said. I did see. Who was it? I can't remember who it was. It said somebody said. Um, somebody said uh, that uh, the uh, special effect people are really nice. Shame about one of their ambassadors, though. Winky face. I suppose you mean me. <laughs> and why not 24 hours? 24-hour um, Twitch broadcast. I think it would just be a bit <laughs> too much. Just going to make sure. We're not missing anyone. Yeah, okay. A few more people want to join the group. Let's do that real quick. Um, I could have chosen probably a better place to stop and do that, actually, couldn't I? There you go. Never mind. Um, flaps! Flaps! It's done. Uh, uh, retreat! Video buffering badly, audio is perfect. Ah, oh, I'm sorry about that. I think I don't know if it's because um, because there are so many of us in the instance, maybe. Um, okay, let me just hang here for a second and see if it calms down. Um, I'm getting a few people saying that the stream is appallingly laggy. Is the general consensus that I should restart the stream? If the general consensus is restart the stream, then that is what I shall do before we start our demolition derby. Um, uh, no, no, it was a video that caused it. Oh, okay, so we could be okay now. We could be okay, right? Right, okay, so. Let's wait for it to settle down then, and in the meantime, uh, wait for the chat to catch up with me. Is anybody wanting to be our referee and to keep it? Because obviously, once I blow up, I'm not going to be sort of flying around. Juniper Cat is saying super laggy, Sentinel super laggy, slideshow here, worth a go. Okay, I'm going to restart. When I come back, if somebody can tell, if somebody can say to me um, that they would like to be the um, the referee um, and will not be involved in the combat, then that will or in the not the combat in the bashingness. <laughs> so I'm just going to stop the stream real quick, and I will be back in about. It takes about um, a minute for the stream to stop and finish buffering, and then I have to restart it. So it's going to be about two minutes before we actually come back on air. So I will see you in about two minutes. <laughs> couldn't resist okay okay I started the stream now and as you can see there is a vanilla um, sidewinder there waiting I'm back in the game um, okay toady should be referee toady are you are you gonna be are you in the same instance with this toad and are you happy Sidewinder, 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 Sidewinder. I hope they're all vanilla Sidewinders. No one's upgraded their Sidewinders, have they? Sidewinder, Sidewinder. Oh, Commander Art McLean is wanted. Okay, let's have a look. I'm still trying to get there from Lave. It says Ubi Nubi. XLG Toad should be 
uh, generally speaking, people are saying um, that it's uh, a much better stream. Fire Toad is nowhere near us. Um, okay, well, listen, I'll tell you what, guys. Look at all these lovely... Let's just get out. Let's just get away from the station and away from people who don't want to play this game. And we'll just see who's the last man standing. And whoever it is, um, you know, sort of, when there's no one left to crash into, then basically you're the winner. All right, so follow me in a nice orderly fashion, people, to the uh, no-fly zone, away from the people who do not want to play. <laughs> Laggy again. Lag is coming back. Do you know, it may be because we're so many. Yeah, we're so many players in the instance, I guess. Well, let's get away. F it may get. It may clear up when we're away from the station as well. That's the other thing, because there's obviously a lot of activity around the station. Press Control and B, Kate, to see your in-game bandwidth. Bandwidth send. One seven. F uh, is that? Can you see that? I don't know what that means. It's Twitch. It is Twitch. That is the problem. Not me. I think. So we've broken Twitch. All right. <laughs> I don't think the lag is connected to the game. Maybe your audio video playlist program. Me. My. Oh, hang on, let me just check that I'm not running anything else. One second. No, all I've got running is the game, open broadcast software, voice attack, and the Java chat window. That is all I have got running. I don't know what else I can do, guys. Shall I try restarting it again? Let me just try restarting it again now that we're away from the station. Let's just see if that finally... Maybe switch to a different Twitch server. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do that. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to restart this, the stream and I'm going to turn off the chat and everything just to see if that will fix it. Be back be right back. Right. Let's see if that's fixed things. So I haven't got chat on the screen over here anymore. Um uh, but I still be able to see you chat over there. So I'll give that forty seconds or so and see I'll maybe restart the game as well, people are saying. Well let's see. Let's see if this works. Cheers. Do you really think it's wise to drink so much? You know, given your limited ability to pilot this vessel anyway. Well, all we're going to do is crash now anyway, right? How hard can it be? Right. Has that fixed it? The big question is... Still laggy. Right, I'm going to restart the game. Don't go away. We will get this dom de domination, <laughs> demolition derby done. I'm going to restart the game as well, so I'll be about two or three minutes. I just thought, Sod's Law says I probably won't be in the same instance as everyone now, will I? <laughs> I'll be there on my own. <laughs> Doing a demolition derby on my lonesome. Okay, let's have, oh, yeah, no, there's some people here, that's good, there are people here, I see people, I see people everywhere, and they're not dead yet, um, right, shield me, 
Ouch. 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 Uh, I'm being told to super cruise out and back in again. Okay, leave the screen running and go in solo mode. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave the screen running and go into solo mode and just see if that fixes it. Oh, what a shame. Just when we were... Uh, just when we were about to get stupid. Let's go into sto solo mode and see if, if I'm still laggy over there for you guys then we will know that it is a problem. So I'm now in solo mode. How's that for everybody? So I can see over there that I'm just jumping out now. Right, so it's better. Yeah, much better in solo mode, people are saying. But the trouble is, it's no good if we want to do Demolition Derby, right? So, let's see now if I jump back in, if maybe that will have, have, have fixed it. It's the game using a lot of bandwidth. Because there are so many people, I guess. Well, let's have a look. <sighs> Maybe my plans. Mm. There's no one here. <laughs> I am alone in this instance. <laughs> I am in the group, aren't I? Currently game mode, right? Yeah, private group. So, just me. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the nav beacon, everybody. Let's go to the nav beacon for our demolition derby then, I guess. Oh no, I'll tell you what, I'll jump out and jump back in again. I am in private group mode. I'm definitely in private group. I did do that, didn't I? I didn't do something stupid and go... Right, start. Private group. Angel Rose. Maybe I'll jump back in and you'll all be there. Yeah, there you are. There you all are. Right, listen. Okay, so the stream is not being very friendly, but I'm recording it as video and, and it's not laggy for me. It's perfect for me. So I suggest what we do is let's get out of the uh, no fire zone, zone first of all because we're in the night no fire zone here so follow me people and um, we'll do our demolition derby and um, I'll have videoed it anyway so I will post the video and you'll be able to see it it, it may be laggy on the uh... the feed is fine now apparently Right, okay, we're a good distance away. 
So come to me, my pretties. Come to me. Come. Those of you who want to get exploded with the rummingness of the boom boom, come to me. And those of you who do not, stay away. Because <laughs> we're making no guarantees here. We are making no guarantees whatsoever. It could all go horribly wrong. Um, come right close to me if you want to participate and when everybody is right close to me and are ready to participate then we shall start and I will do a countdown I guess um, it will be countdown to 10 from, from 10 to 1 no ramming yet no pre-ramming you people no pre-ramming Get nice and close, and when I stop seeing a movement, because everybody is arrived and are ready for the for the derby, then we will start ramming each other. No guns, no weapons, no hitting below the belt, <laughs> no early starts. Come on now. Okay. How do we look? I think... I'm already getting somebody scraping me. Stop it! Stop cheating. Right, okay. I think this is it. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Oh no, hang on a minute. I'll tell you what, because I'm counting and you don't know. So what we'll do, I will when I wing when I start wing waggling, then that is your cue. So when I start wing waggling in game, I'm going to say that over here. When I start actually barrel rolling, it's a go. When I start barrel rolling, it's a go. Okay, everyone. So, you will have seen that over there. You will hopefully be here and ready. And... I am going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go, 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 full speed. I'm loving you. Who are you? Commander 40. <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? Come on, I look for. Oh, yeah. Has anyone blown up yet? Who's that? Come on now, Calvet. <laughs> <laughs> Was I the first to go? Full shields! It's a bit late now, isn't it? <laughs> Where is someone? Full speed! Full shields! Full shields! Full shields! Where are they? Has anyone blown up yet? Yeah, I'm having you. Commander Paris. <laughs> Full speed! Shields! Full shields! Shield me! Full speed! And I have Commander Scotty. Full speed! Ah. <laughs> 
Not now, Doris. Full speed. Who am I going for? Oh, I've just got to pick somebody, haven't I? Oh. Come on, the McLaren coming for Art McCle oh, McLean. Uh. Full speed. Full speed. Retreat! There we go. Right. Cleone Mercer Avenue. Full speed! <sighs> Keep missing everyone! Aunt oh, McLean, you're mine! Died yet. I don't think they have a play. <laughs> Retreat. Speed. It's not easy to kill people by bramming them, is it? <laughs> Full speed. Boost. Yeah, that's what I'm just going to do. Boost! Boost! Retreat! Boost! Oh. Retreat! Shield! Shield me! Lining up for Scotty. And. Boost! hit whoever that was <laughs> uh, full speed shield me full speed has anyone actually died yet <laughs> Those sidewises are built like Brumman tanks. What is going on? Right, come on, left three. Head to head, come on. Ready? Full speed. Boost!
<laughs> Shield me! Shield me! <laughs> oh, it's funny. I have an unleashed oh. grenade. Well, that's me dead. <laughs> Wonderful. I live to serve Commander Rose. Really, I do. <laughs> I don't think Doris is very impressed. Um, right. Look at that. Total cost to rebuy everything. 582 credits. Bargain. Right? Absolute bargain. Um, okay. <laughs> so let me see if I can get outside and, um... And film the rest of this battle. <laughs> so don't aim for me now. I'm just going to see if I can I, sort of get in there and and, and film you. <laughs> Retreat. Retreat. Get my pips sorted out. Retreat. Try and keep up, Doris. If you articulated clear and concise instructions. It would be possible to execute them with more accuracy. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Let's see if I can catch the end of your battle. Flaps! Flaps! It's done. Oh, I'm probably alone, aren't I? In the instance now. <laughs> oh, I am. I'm alone. Oh, actually, let me just check. Um. Uh. <laughs> I'm totally alone. <laughs> yep. Well, I guess that's that, isn't it? I did die first. <laughs> I think I probably did. Let me see if I can um, go out and in and, and maybe I'll jump into the same instance as you. Yeah, I got excited and I forgot my pips in the end. <laughs> right, where are we? Um, start. Private group. <laughs> No, <laughs> I've been ejected. It's like when I was at school and I used to get sent to sit on my own because I misbehaved. I've been sent to the corner. I've been sent to the elite corner. Yes, Scotty Scott, show me the battle. Show me to the battle. Where are you? Where are I don't think I'm in the same instance as you all. Am I? I'm pretty sure I'm not. I will be there, just come outside. I can't see anybody though. Scotty's saying, ah, oh, ah, hang on. Commander GMG, I've just seen. You can see me. Apparently he can see me. I can't see him. I don't know what is going on. Shield me!
<laughs> Full speed. Full speed. I don't know. I uh, I think I'm alone. Well, it's just me and Commander GMG, I think, in here, currently. What does GMG stand for, Commander? Commander GMG. Um, that was a lot of fun, though, people, <laughs> I have to say. We probably need to finesse that a little bit. Figure out a way of doing it um, in a, perhaps a little more confined space. Um... I don't know. What do we think? Let's discuss that on the forum and see if there's a way that we can um, that we can figure out a, a, a demolition derby in a more confined space. Um, why does my HUD show no pips? Currently, uh, JMC, I've got my HUD, I've got my pips in my engines and weapons. Um, oh, hang on. Did I just see everyone over there? Boost! Is that us? Causing a ruckus? Boost! No. I don't know what's going on here. There's a bunch of people misbehaving over here. Ah, oh, no, here we are. I have, I found you. Have I? Have I found you? <laughs> yeah, I realise there's no need for pips and weapons. Did I find everyone again? No, I didn't. But I don't know who these people are. I don't know what's going on. Let's come on, Paris. I will have to take your word for that. From so who won? It seems decidedly average. Oh, there you are. I see you. Good. Okay, I'm back in. So keep going, guys, and I'm going to film. Ouch. 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 So are you still battling? Am I the only one who died? <laughs> I bet I am. We don't have a demolition derby winner yet, do we? Let's follow Commander Lefru. Oh, who's that? Commander Dala. Oh, everyone's bashing at me now. <laughs> And I, I should be a sports commentator, shouldn't I? And Commander Dominic Gifferigal is lining up for another ram raid on his competitors. It's a fighting battle out there at the moment. These sidewinders are coming off the track. They're everywhere. It's chaos. It's carnage. Oh, my God. It's just rammed the commentator. That's not cricket, sir. That is not cricket. <laughs> and there they go. Do you know? I'm gonna pick somebody. Who shall I pick? I can just pick somebody and shh, just fire at him. Anyone sitting relatively still? Commander Dala.
she thinks she's safe, but I'm coming for you. And boost, boost. Oh, I missed. I know I already died. Now I'm not strictly speaking in the game, but <laughs> it's too much fun not. Come on, Scotty Scott. His ass is mine. Boost. Minus Stuart 4G. PR. And... Oh, he's going away from me now. That's no good. I'll star on. I love you. Oh, maybe I have. Who's that? Boost! Ouch! Ouch! I'm going to be. This dead again aren't I? <laughs> like nobody else will have died at all and I'll be dead twice. <laughs> that just means I'm playing the game properly. See? That's all it means. All it means. It just means I'm good at it. Come on, I left through. <gasps> You're too high. Oh boy. Everyone's going to have guessed that I'm back in the game now, aren't they? Who's that? having fun? Am I making fun strange faces? Okay, I'm just going to sit here for a while and watch and feel the hey! <laughs> I'm going to film the crazy activity. Well, if I do that and that, oh, I can do that. Oh! Something tells me I'm getting aimed at quite a lot. It's probably, why, it's probably why I keep getting blown up before everybody else, of course. I'm a target. Right, what I think you should do now, guys, I'm going to sit here innocently. You can see where I am. I'm looking up. I would like you to do some crashing right above my head. See if you can pair up and crash right above my head. I'm just going to sit here. And um, I am static, so you can, if you want, make my life disintegrate before my very eyes. But if you would like to um, give each other some um, full-on rams right above my head, then um, or you could just ram straight into my head <laughs> then that will give us some good good footage where is everyone I'll just sit here and have a little tip of my wine So can we get can we get two people like coming at each other from either side and ideally just going right in the middle there? That'd be awesome. Can we do that? Can we? Can we? Can we? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, can we? 
Here we come. Pair up, guys. <laughs> Each other, not me. <laughs> hey! I can't see that though, because you're the wrong side of me. There we go. Yeah, so you wing waggling at each other to agree. Combatants, be ready. Squish each other. Come on, squish each other. <laughs> I want to see some explosions. Whoever that is getting pummeled. Commander GM Chi is getting pummeled. Oh! Some people are aiming at me too. I'm the cameraman! You're supposed to be nice to the cameraman! <laughs> Old fashioned dueling. Who's that? Somebody looks like they're taking the long run up. Commander Retmock. There's a big bundle of them there. They are jiggling and jaggling each other. Somebody just needs to come pelting <laughs> into that, that little huddle that's going on there. <laughs> oh! I don't know who that was. <laughs> Somebody's toast. <laughs> Somebody is toast. Oh, hello. That's not a sidewinder. <laughs> is it? It's Commander Potty has arrived <laughs> in the middle of mayhem. <laughs> Don't crash into anyone that's not in a sidewinder, guys, because they probably aren't part of the game. Oh, I love it. Right. Okay. What do you say we all do a suicide mission? Right, everybody? Anyone who's with me, line up beside me, facing Slough Orbital. Because it's now, it's, uh, it's 1640. We've had a lot of fun. We've had a few scrapes and a few bashes. We were ready for death today, weren't we? So let's do a mass plough into the front of Slough Orbital Station. Oh, I'm going to get them there. Boost! <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's done. <laughs> let's do a mass kamikaze plough into the front of Slough Orbital Station. Anyone who's with me, line up beside me and we'll all boost into the airlock <laughs> and we'll just go so we'll, we'll stop at like um, uh, 2k and then we'll just all hit our boost button together and what I'll do is I will um, say it in chat I will say um, I'll just go go over there and then we all hit our boost button together and we all go careering straight into the sort of front entrance and explode ourselves. Let's see if we can dent Slough Orbital. <laughs> okay. Who's with me? Is anyone with me or am I alone in this madness? <laughs> I'm going to stop here. 
if you are with me, line up beside me. Line up beside me and we'll wait for everyone to get there together. Do the derby in the station. Yeah, let's just all let's see if we can dent this the front of the station. So we'll all go together. Oh, do the derby inside the ring. There you go, that's it. Inner ring derby. And I will film it. So everybody get in there, do the derby in the inner ring, and I'm gonna film it. That'll be good. That is exactly what we should do. Okay. Go, guys. <laughs> Who is going to be last man standing? Or woman? Last man or woman standing, of course. You know what I mean. <laughs> Something's just. Completely blown themselves up on the walls. I don't know who any of you are. I'm, I can't swear. Well, hey, I could do this. Commander Joshua is taking it easy. Commander GMG is there looking for somebody to attack. Commander Dominic Lugot is coming in fast and hard. Commander Scotty Scott is in trouble. No, he's keeping it together. Commander Art McLean is in trouble with no shields now. Uh, oh, hello. I don't know what I did there. He's got his shields back online. Commander Skype Colbert is heading in for some more trouble. You're not allowed to come out of the, 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 the ring for your... Um, if <laughs> somebody's in trouble, I don't know who that is. Come on, <laughs> destroyed. destroyed. You're not allowed to come out of the ring to get your shields back online, by the way. That's cheating. Stay in there to the death. It's like Battle Royale. It is the Battle Royale. Commander. Jay Calvert is coming in hard and fast, taking no prisoners kind of attitude. Commander GMG doing a tight circle around the airlock to try and get his shields back online. <laughs> There's a bit of a tussle going on over in the corner. Commander Scotty Scott having a bit of argy bargy. Somebody's stuck, I don't know who that is. Commander Stuart Forgey st stuck <laughs> underneath the rings. Commander Paris is also stuck. Oh, completely stuck. Poor Commander Paris. <laughs> yeah, completely rammed in there, aren't you, Commander? It's quite a few of you actually getting stuck in the rings. Who's that? <laughs> oh, I wish I had like a really big gun now. I just shoot. Commander Retmog is also stuck <laughs> inside the architecture of the space station. Somebody go and put him out of his misery, for goodness sake. Either ram him out of there or blow him up. <laughs> He's stuck. Hey, it's free! <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Come on, Eugene fellow. Staying out of trouble. That's not the point. The point is to get yourself into trouble. Get everyone else into trouble. I don't know who Wicker is. Uh oh. Commander J. Calvert is still stuck. Somebody go and put Commander J. Calvert out of his misery. Crash into him. Oh, there's some argy bargy. Commander GMG took a big of a bit of a swipe there. Commander Dominic Ugarol also sent spinning. Commander Scotty Scott is wreaking havoc as we speak. <laughs> there's a bit of cat and mouse chasing going on. Oh, and there's another one bites the dust. This is where we should have had it to begin with, right? This is a good place for the demolition derby. Because we're not going to get into trouble. We're not firing at anyone, are we? We're just being stupid. <laughs> so this is it. This is our monthly ritual now. On the first Sunday of every month, uh, we need a winner, by the way, guys. So <laughs> can you just start killing each other? Get it over and done with. We need somebody to be crowned. Or maybe I'll just crown somebody based on performance. But first Sunday of every month, we... I don't know who's scanning me. Uh-oh. You guys are getting shot at now. <laughs> we upset them. Oh, we've upset them. Station authorities. <laughs> Somebody is a balloon up. Maybe I shall just award for style and performance the champion. <laughs> so go on, last ten minutes, people. Last 10 minutes, your chance to impress me. And I am impressed mostly by you large explosions. And um, that explosion could be you blowing yourself up or you blowing somebody else up. It's really down to you. But unless you impress me, you are not going to be crowned the demolition, Sidewinder Demolition Derby Champion for February. Quite an honour it is as well. <laughs> Commander C GMG doing his best. Not quite good enough though. Commander Scotty Scott's been in the thick of it quite a lot. <laughs> Commander Belstarion is stuck again. <laughs> in the, in the, hey! Oh! See, who was that? Okay, I've got to see who that was. I've got to target you, because you, whoever that was, that was, I think that was Psycho. Whoever it was who just exploded Commander Belstarion, can you tell me who you are? If you know who you are. Then um, please do tell me, because I think you probably win. <laughs> Who's that? Commander GMG. <laughs> Does anyone know? Commander Belstarion, you will know. Who just... Oh no, I suppose you weren't killed by them, were you? GMG's stuck as well. <laughs> It was Sky Cobalt. Sky Cobalt. Right. That's it for me. I think Sky Cobalt, you, for me, this month, for February, you are the Sidewinder Demolition Derby Champion. <laughs> Congratulations. And well done to everybody for taking it in such good spirit and good heart. And um, <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> Actually, somebody blasted into you, Bell on as well. I have to say, I saw them go, and then you went, and it was uh, very funny indeed. Um, brilliant, guys! Thank you so much. I've had so much fun again tonight. <laughs> Yay! So that's it. I think that is the end of my broadcast. I think there's only really, there's really only one way. There's really only one way we can end tonight's broadcast. So anyone who's up for ending tonight's broadcast with me by boosting without permission to dock straight into Slough Orbital Space Station, come and line up with me now. You've got about 40 seconds to do it. And as I say goodbye, what I will do... Um, yeah, Potty, we'll we'll do um, Potty. We'll do the uh, we will we'll go and find the um, palm trees next week. Faux show, um, definitely. So um, line up with me, guys, if you want to do a boost into um, Slough Station. I will do a big go 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 over here when we are ready to go. That is how we will end the um, the Twitch broadcast tonight. Um, so just set that up so all I literally do need to do is lean over there and press um, go so thank you so much I've had an awesome time tonight same time next week four o'clock Sunday we'll go in search of um, palm trees something a little more sedate and peaceful um, it's already on the way in oh it's gonna end in tears it's so gonna end in tears um, so I will um, yes that's what we're going to do next week and we'll find lots of other fun things to do in the future as well so in the meantime i think um keep if you fancy helping me with my battle for slough to keep slough independent so that we can keep having this fun without the filthy federals spoiling it for us um then keep doing those vespa um keep doing the uh, jet corporation jet transport corporation missions here um and let's keep uh, slough an independent and fun state to hang out in on a Sunday and I will see you back here at 4 o'clock tomorrow I'll post these videos over the next not tomorrow, next Sunday I'll post these videos over the next uh, couple of days as well so if it's been a bit laggy over on the Twitch stream my uh, video will, re will have recorded perfectly So, um, and I've had a ton of fun tonight so pretty much the only way to end this broadcast is to go hell for leather, boost thank goodness she didn't hear me um, straight into the station right so if we are ready then we may as well do it go 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 on guys you go first so I can film you boost Boost. <laughs> and there endeth our incredibly grown up and sensible broadcast for the night. <laughs> I'll see you next week, Commanders. Have fun and um, stay safe out there. <laughs>